What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. We have the Anderson DLC. It is out now. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so hyped. So we are going to be breaking this DLC up into a couple different parts. This video right here is going to be the overview of all of the different equipment that you get so you can determine for yourself, hey, this is what I want to do with it. This is what I don't want to do with this DLC. Maybe I don't want to buy it after all. Maybe I do want to buy it after all. You can make that decision for yourself. So we have woodworking stuff. We have bell loading equipment. We have bell wrapping stuff. And then we have stuff to take care of animals, feed, bedding, all of that good stuff. And we're just going to go down the line. I'm going to show you exactly what they do. And then we're going to go and check out how they do it. This video may be a little long, but hang tight. We're going to have a good time regardless today. The first thing up today is this guy right here. This is the Anderson Group IFX720 Extractor. Now, this is a round bell wrapper right here. This will not do square bells, only round bells. The great thing about both of these bell wrappers is that you can grab them just like this, which is awesome. I love it, I love it, I love it. So let's get this guy placed up. We are going to use this little uh, trail right here and line it up just so. Go ahead and drop it. Now, let's move that out of the way. This does have a little engine in it. Sounds like a four-wheeler too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we'll drive around about three miles an hour, but I think it's the sound of it that makes it okay. Yes, it drives slow. Yes, it's slow, but it, hey, it works. So let's drop that off right there and let's unfold it. There we go. Now, I don't know if it needs to be on the entire time or not. So what we're gonna do is we're going to turn it off. That's right, we're gonna turn it off and grab us a bell. Now we've got all these bells planned up here. If you guys caught some of our live streams over the past few weeks, we have been preparing for this DLC. So let's get us a bell and let's load it up in there. All right, will it take it if it is not turned on? I say no, but I am wrong. So there you go. Place your bell in and it will start to wrap it just like so. And what it'll do is it will wait until you get more bells on there. So let's say we jump in and add a second bell. What it's gonna do is it's gonna take both of these bells in line and wrap both of them. Boom, boom, boom. Just like so. And you just keep going. <laughs> just keep going. And then what the cool thing is, is you could come over and you could control this without doing anything. So we can enter the vehicle or we can just hit the left stick and unload the bells. We don't have to be in it. However, if we are in it, the controls are the same, which is awesome. So let's hit that, unload bells. And it pushes them and keeps them in line with each other. So the machine moves the bells do not and now we have silage bells so come over to it hit left stick and now we've got individual bells <laughs> look at those little buggers that is interesting it is real odd to see silage bells but that's it an unwrapped silage bell that's the 720 extractor the big brother to the 720 is the hybrid x extractor that is this guy right here now it is a bit different, but mostly the same. And you could see the very similarities between the two. Now we're gonna go in and we'll show you this as well. This will do round bales, but it will also do square bales, unlike the 720. So we're gonna take this and do some square bales. Same thing here with the Hybrid X, jump in it. What you wanna do is unfold. That's all you have to do is unfold, nothing else to it. Now, I wonder, I know it'll do one bell. Can we do two bells? I mean, it's not gonna wrap two bells at once, but will it see the first bell, wrap it, and then see the second bell and load it as well? We're gonna find out. 
That is a big 10-4 good buddy. So if you want to save yourself a little bit of time, load in a couple bells at a time. I mean, you might be able to do a whole stack. Who knows? But again, nonetheless, works exactly the same way. There we go. We are going to click unload. And we better get this thing out of the way. There we go. And there it has pushed the bells out. And we can come in and unwrap them. And now we have unwrapped silage square bells. That's so cool. There is in fact a third way to wrap bells with this DLC. We have a brand new round bell wrapper. We have the RB580. Now this thing is pretty cool. It looks awesome. There have been quite a few live streams uh, of the Giants partners using this. And we're gonna go use it for ourselves right now. So we've got ourselves a couple round bells. What we wanna do is we wanna unfold the machine we want to come in and just pick up that first bell. It should auto load right in. I have seen a few people having problems just getting it to work. Just kind of fiddle around with it. There is a sweet spot. Eventually, once you figure out where that is and once you figure out how to get it, you'll be just fine. Now, other than that, this works just like any other bell wrapper. You're going to wait for it to finish up, which it does take a minute. And then it's going to be done. And then you just simply unload bail and it will plop it on its side. And when you're ready to get a new one, just pull straight up, boom, and then hit it. So I did have a little, little trouble right there. Nothing too major. It kind of bumped right into it. But again, that right there is your RB580. Next up, we have your animal care. So these are your food mixers and your pro chop or your straw blower right there. So we have two different food mixers. We have the A700 and we have the A950. Now, what is the difference between these? Well, the A700 holds 23,475 liters. The 950 holds 29,393 liters. It's a it's a interesting nonetheless. And then over here in your pro shop, of course, you need straw bales. I have seen square bales work with this. So if you want to drop a square bale in there, go for it. Now, we're not going to test out both of these feed mixers because they're exactly the same in every way, with the exception of one thing, the capacity. So we're going to take the 950 with us, and I'm going to show you guys how to make TMR in this. All right, so we've done some math to determine what the best fill is going to be for this. Now, we are going to be using the brand new fill anything trigger right here. And what I've determined is about 11,700 is going to be what you want to hit for your, your hay and your silage. So we're going to come right in here. Let's find hay. We want to get 11,700 in here. A little over, but that's all right. So we'll just say 12,000 to be, to be precise. Now, we want to do the same thing with silage. So let's get this up to about 24,000. There we go. And then we will just top it off with straw. There you go. We have TMR and we got 29,000 liters of it. That's awesome. And all we gotta do is pull up to our cows and then dump it in. And the cows are happy. They got all the food in the world that they could ever need. So here you go. 12,000 liters if you are doing loose and yeah so three bales total of hay three bales total of silage and then just drop what one bale of straw in there it should be good I think that should be good that's about right again straw is just a filler so you get to go there boom all right Next, we have our Pro Chop 150. Now, again, this is for bedding and shooting straw. Now, one of the really cool things about this is you can have a bell in using it and have a bell waiting. I don't know if you're going to be able to load both of these up. We're going to we're going to do it anyway. Here we go. It's probably going to freak out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> looks like the bell in the back is going to win. So let's take this, let's show you how to use it. Now, if you're using this on Mercury Farms, it can be a bit tricky, but don't let it bother you. Just drive on in, you'll get it, and 
There you go. Boom. And it's working. <laughs> and one of the cool things is you can adjust that up and down. And looks like we've got enough straw. Perfect. Oh, a little bit more. Gotta love it. So again, works just fine. Works good. Looks good. Everything does what it should. And I feel like it works pretty quick as well. It doesn't seem like a slacker, that's for sure. So that is your wrapping and your animal feeding. Let's take a look at collecting. In this DLC, we've got four different ways to collect bales. We have two ways to collect round bales and two ways to collect square bales. So let's take a look at all of those in the store. First up, we have the RBM 2000, which holds 24 round bales. We have the RBM Pro 2000 that holds 24 round bales. That one's mainly geared towards silage, but as you guys know, anything will work in Farming Simulator. And then of course, we have our Stack Pro 7200, which does 16 square bales. And we have the TSR3450, which will do 14 square bales. All of these have their own purposes and their times when you would want to use them. But I think for realism, they have their place. For Farming Simulator, use whatever you like. I gotta be honest with you. Use whatever you like out of the two round bell collectors. Use whichever one's cheaper. They both do the exact same thing and they both look awesome. Uh, so if you want to get the 2000 or the Pro 2000, go for it. Whichever one you want. But we're going to show you both of them. Now what we've made for ourselves is a big, big pile of bells here. So we're going to go into operating position. This will work just like any other bell collector boom there you go there's one how about a silage bell oh or <laughs> there you go rap bell that works how about another rap bell where's it going oh it goes on top oh man that's awesome what about an unwrapped silage bell that's a 10-4 good buddy it will pick it up and before you even ask yes we will be trying to pick up the poplar bells later on this is fast. This is very fast. I know most people stay away from round bells. This is this is pretty darn quick, I must say. There you go. Boom, boom. How about we get a few more? Pow. Nice. So let's get these last three up, and we're going to show you dumping this. So to unload, all you got to do is just click that unload bells button. Now, just stay put, because this is going to do all the work for you. <laughs> Don't be like Virtual Farmer and trying to run around. There we go. And unload bells here. So, supposedly, we are sitting, waiting. There we go. And then it pushes them off. Now that it's done, you want to lower landing platform. Kind of get out of the way a little bit. There you go. And we're ready to do bales again. That's it. That was it right there. So now you've got yourself a nice little uh, triangle of bales. Perfect. And we got to pick these up too. That's so cool. What about the other guy? Now here we have the RBM Pro 2000. Now this is going to work exactly the same, but it's mainly geared for silage bales. Again, you can use this for any round bale just come up <laughs> it grabs a hold of it and puts it in there the theatrics i tell you what that is just <laughs> it says this bell is mine and i will put it where i want it that's so cool but again it can be used for any bell as you see here and we are going to pick up another grass bell and an unwrapped silage bell. There we go. There's that. Boom. And it loads exactly the same way in triangles. Bang. Boom. Pow. Even one of these guys right here. Is that not cool or what? I just think that's awesome. So let's grab one more bell. And then let's unload this. Give, give me the bell. Thank you. <laughs> let's load this guy up and it is doing its final theatrics now 
and it is time to unload so we're going to select unload now it does have rollers so it can roll off nice and easy it's going to get down to the end and it should stop yep and then you want to just simply click unload bells here now unlike the other one that invisibly unloaded this one has a pusher that comes down so you will have to wait for this pusher to reset that is going to be the difference so i've got to tell you for time's sake and then we're going to lower loading platform kind of bounces around a little bit hmm so which one would i recommend out of the two just for simply getting it done quickly i actually recommend the rbm 2000 and that is the other version the first version we tried out because it's faster much much faster loads quicker it does everything quicker that's cool now those are round bells what about square bells let's go show them some attention here we have the stack pro 7200 and the tsr3450 now as much as i can work out this guy right here the stack pro 7200 this is more towards silage bells and i i say that because this one is not this one is for silage bells it has rollers this one has rollers so i assume this one is for the silage bells and i assume this one is just for normal bells could be wrong let me know down in the comment section let me know what you think if you're curious regardless let's grab a hold of these guys oh one difference hold up hold up one difference this is pto driven these others are hydraulically driven I wonder if that's going to make a difference here we are at the field again this is going to work exactly the same way go into your working position come up to a bale now all these are there you go well it works i was gonna say we're coming at this very oddly but i think simply just kind of poke into the bell that you want and it automatically loads it up for you so that is nice now is this is the same theatrics going to take a while in this as well no this does not take long so usually you know with the ones in game they have to kind of sit there and reload a little bit there we go and it will take square unwrapped silage bales that's cool good to know there's four of them i think that's probably enough let's unload bales how long is this going to take because this is the thing right here is how long oh hold on hold on here's something i didn't realize these square silage bales are smaller but it still recognizes them how cool is that that's pretty awesome and then unload and move away now if you are in an angle be careful because that is going to move those bales to the left or to the right not a problem just maybe something that you want to keep in mind so again that is the stack pro 7000 what about the tsr3450 now here we are with the tsr3450 this will only do 14 bells this will not do as many so let's see pickup is exactly the same oh that's cool check that out ah oh, drops it oh that's so cool ah oh, that's just that's awesome now how are we going to do this here is it going to push it back oh it is going to push it back so it comes forward again gotta tell you that's loading pretty fast there's that cool cool and then again loads this one which is smaller so weird that those are smaller oh well and then what about our unloading how are the theatrics only the unloading uh this is quick unload okay so just kind of unloads it like that not bad i mean it's squared off it's not upside down i got no complaints about that i tell you what out of all of the the balers now how fast is this ready to go again that's the question that fast holy cow well you've uh you've got my recommendations 
I recommend the smaller versions. To be completely honest, right in here, I recommend the RBM 2000, which is smaller, holds the same amount of bells, and it's cheaper by $22,000. And then over here, again, I understand that the TSR3450 is smaller than the Stack Pro, but and it holds two bells less, but it's so much faster. There's no theatrics. It just gets the job done. That's what I like. I like it just get the job done. So those are my recommendations right there for that. Now, we do have one more category of stuff that came with this DLC, and that is the logging equipment. And here you go. Here are the three pieces of equipment that came with this DLC. So you've got the bumper, the Anderson bumper. You've got the BioBeller WB55, which is a, well, wood chip bell. It's a poplar bell, but I'll explain because I, I have an idea for it. And then, of course, we have the M160. Now, this is a log loader. Also, funny enough, so I'm going to go through these vehicles. So these are all the vehicles that we've used in this video to help us. Boom. It will transport you into this vehicle. Look at that. That's so cool. Did you see the guy? Is he, is he using the uh, machinery? And we could go into first person. All right, that's cool. I am a terrible log loader, so you will not see me uh, using this guy right here. But nonetheless, I'll show you kind of the arm controls. So we've got back and forth, up and down, and then we have control over the arm. Not too shabby, not too shabby. We do have tension belts as well that strap, so if you want, you can do that. It does recommend three or four meter lengths of logs, so I wouldn't go any larger or smaller than that in order for them to work properly. And that seems to be about it. I thought maybe the ends would come down, but ah, oh yeah, here we go. Support arms. There we go, so what you wanna do is you wanna hit the Y button. What that's going to do is that's going to change controls from the first controls to the secondary controls. You could still fasten the belts from here, but this just kind of raises and lowers that. Neat. Very, very cool. But again, back to I think what a lot of people are associating with this DLC is this guy right here, the BioBeller WB55. So let's talk about this guy. There are a couple different ways that we can use this. First off, we can use it offset. So you're going to want to press R1 or right bumper and do up and down. And that's going to give you your offset. That's going to give you your angle. And you can customize that angle however you would like. Also, it's got huge wheels on it. We put those all there. It's pretty cool. So we can lower this guy and turn it on. So now that we've got the offset, let's see if we can get this lined up just so. Come through and get these poplars. Very, very cool. Now working speed is not very fast, four miles per hour. Again, that's the same as if you were using a header to do the same job to get loose wood chips. Nonetheless, here you go. And it says wood chips down at the bottom. Well, don't we already have wood chips? We do. We're going to try and bail those in a second. <laughs> We're going to hit this first run right here. But anyway, so this is how you use it offset. And again, you go left with it, right with it. There is no one button to hit to make it go left or right. That is all you. You will have to press those buttons. Oh, let's go through here. So we haven't hit yet. Looks like we're about to hit it now. And let's check out the unloading of this. So again, it's the same way. Just boom, just like any round baler. There's that. You have to bring it back in and close it. And there you go. So that is going at it about the offset. Now what about inline? Because we've seen this work in line before. So let's turn it off. Let's raise it. And let's get it lined up. About like that, I would say. 
So what we've got is we have the bar in the front, the pusher bar, or the bumper, rather. What the bumper does is it arranges everything for us. So let's lower this back down, turn it on. What this is going to do is it just kind of lowers everything and pushes it down. It kind of gets it all nice in a row for us to where we can come through and do it. You can see they're laying down flat, ready to go. And this is good when doing this because if you are not in line, you will have a problem unloading. But if you're just like this, you're just fine. You are just fine, A-OK, -okay. all is good. And I do recommend if you have crop destruction turned on, do not plant poplars the way we plant them as a whole field. You will want to do them in rows because this makes it a ton easier. There we go, and unload, perfect. Now, there are a few things that I want to try. First off, I want to see, can we bail just sitting wood chips? So, not a, not a poplar, wood chips hanging out on the ground. Now, I cannot confirm nor deny that this is going to work. All I can say is, let's give it a try. I am going to lower the pickup as low as we can get it. There we go. Just in case, see if that helps us any. Can we do wood chips on the ground? That is a no. You cannot do wood chips. You may be saying to yourself, why would you try that? Well, why not? You know, just, just in case. Now, we've made round bells of those. Can we pick those up? Well, let's give it a try. We've got two of them in here. Can we pick these up? I don't see why not. That is a yes, we can. That is a yes, we can. We definitely can pick these up. How's about that? That is super cool. So we've got these, and then simply unload them. Put them where you want them. Boom. Get it just right unload again it's gonna take it a second because there's an in invisible pusher wait for it there it is pull away and put it back there you go well guys there you go there is your first look at the anderson dlc my first look at the anderson dlc anyway a lot of really good equipment here a lot of things that are going to be helpful for example wrapping silage bales like that that is a hugely fast way to do it i think personally the new feed mixers huge absolutely massive comparatively i must say it's not quite the 64,000 liter one you had in 17 but nonetheless still very good and the bell picker uppers awesome absolutely awesome and i think it's crazy that the cheaper ones are a little better i think personally this guy right here, the bale, or the uh, the wood chip baler, amazing, absolutely amazing. This guy right here, I'm sure will work perfect. The arm controls seem very smooth, very natural. So I think you guys will have no problems whatsoever. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you know, please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. Be happy to help you guys out. We are going to split these up and go more in depth. With all of these, we're going to split these up into the wood section, into the bell picking up section, <laughs> bell wrapping, and animals. So make sure you stay tuned for those videos to come later on. With that being said, I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace!